So, okay. So with that in mind, we are now going to have a live presentation next. Um, our, our presenter is going to be uh, Wayne Gang, and he is a software engineer in Singapore. And his presentation is going to be on RT thread on Arduino. So I'm really looking forward uh, to this. So uh, uh, Wing Yang, I'm going to hand things over to you to give your presentation. Hi, thanks, Jacko. Yeah. Yeah, hi, good day, everyone. Welcome and thank you to attend this session about Alice Red and uh, Arduino. Now, I understand that you guys have uh, already stared at the screen for a long time. Your eyes become dry and tired. So, yeah, in the following 40 minutes, I will not stress your eyes too much and uh, show something in green. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, let's start. The topic is uh, IT thread on Arduino. Yeah, you may already have the, the draft idea of um, IT thread in the previous sessions. Therefore, let's start from Arduino. Arduino is a well-known rapid electronic prototyping platform. A lot, of, a lot of people love it as it as it, it is flexible, easy to use, inexpensive, uh, open source, and more. However, some people look down on it. They think Arduino is only layman's toy, not suitable for serious development. To be honest, I am one of them two years ago. But later, something happened and changed my mind. In order to prevent you guys falling in sleep, let me share the modified version of the story. Yeah, let's say, let's say there are two people, Alice and Bob. Uh, Bob is an uh, engineer, and Alice and his friend Alice is a designer. Alice has no knowledge of uh, computer science or electronics, and she knows Bob is uh, an expert in embedded system. So one day. Alice challenged Bob, asking whether Bob could make her have the ability to control some electronic device by programming, but in just an hour. Alice really knew Bob well. After 10 seconds, Bob has already had several ideas to reach the goal. The only problem is the hard time limit. Luckily, Bob knows Arduino. So he accepts the challenge and instruct Alice to turn on the laptop and connect an Arduino board, then fire up the Arduino IDE. Oh, sorry, there is a typo there. It should be Arduino IDE. And uh, open an example sketch named Blink. And finally, click Upload button. After a while, some magic happened. Alice has just programmatically controlled an LED to blink. Until now, Bob has spent only 20 minutes. In the rest of time, he could explain how, less, how the less than 10 lines of code works and maybe also introduce some basic electronic knowledge to Alice. You see, that's why Bob and me become big fan of uh, Arduino. Bob proved besides repairing computers, he can do a lot of more fantastic things. Now, the story is not at yet, but before I continue, let's take a look what Artist Red could bring to Arduino. Artist Red is the beginning, is an uh, open source real-time operating system, and now it become a collection of software. RTOS is a call. Besides the call, there are many software packages providing various functions. Yeah, the points shows here will be explained shortly. Well, let's continue the story. 
On another day, Bob received a phone call from his designer friend, Alice. She is very excited and told that Bob opened up a new world to her and she got a fabulous idea worth millions of dollars. The idea Bob never have. It's, it is not surprised. As Bob is an engineer and Alice is an artist, they see the world from different angles. Long story short, Bob is convinced. Alice then again challenged Bob, asking whether he could make a prototype with Arduino to, pro to prove the concept in a week. It seems Alice become a fan of Arduino too. Alice trusts the right person. Within a minute, Bob already had the basic hardware requirement in mind. However, the software part is a bit tricky. For hardware drivers, some features are not available in Arduino libraries. For example, the prototype may be required to access SD card larger than 4 GB, may open multiple files at the same time, and may rewrite the, the files with Unicode content. All those features are not supported by Arduino SD library. So the next challenge is the product logic. The prototype is unique and combined with several functions. Bob may find one or more Arduino library are useful. However, if more libraries or software packages are available, Bob may probably save more time. Last but not least, there is an obvious issue. All the required features cannot be handled by the simple loop function. Luckily, Bob knows an Arduino library named RTSRAP. So he replied, yes, let's do it. Why Bob become confident when he remembered RTSRAP? Let's have a look at the architecture of it. From the bottom up, the first layer is uh, hardware. We can see that RT3 supports most of the popular microcontroller architectures. The second layer is uh, RTOS kernel, including system utilities and uh, common peripheral drivers. The third layer is, uh, I call it essential software packages. Those packages are tied integrated with RT3 kernel and maintained mainly by RTSRAT team. The first layer is uh, application interface and the top layer is, I call it extension software packages. Those packages are RTSRAT application integrated with the system through the API provided by layer four. Uh, you may image that a wide range of applications are available which are maintained by community and uh, also artist right team. It's quite similar to the Arduino library method in my opening. Yep. The next diagram shows the architecture of artist right library, which is optimized for Arduino platform. Yeah, in the bottom hardware layer, we can see that the library supports most of the 32-bit microcontroller available with Arduino boards. In the Atos corner layer, the library provides drivers for not only on cheap preferers, but also for some popular Arduino shares. Some of the drivers are actually wrapped around existing Arduino libraries. It is a uh, character of the library. Yeah, which combines the advantage of uh, Arduino and Artis Red. So the character can be observed also in the essential software package layer. Yeah. 
you will see the Ethernet connectivity is provided by other Arduino library. And the most useful essential package uh, pulled from the original RT thread project. In the future, more packages will be pulled into Arduino platform. Following is application interface and uh, extension software package layers. It is uh, no doubt that uh, any existing Arduino library providing pure software functions is also an uh, existing, uh, also an uh, extension software package. Uh, it is same for the user sketch. The existing extension software package from the original ID3 project, some could be used directly and some might be modified slightly to adapt the Arduino building process. Uh, those three example package currently available in the Arduino library manager. Uh, you can reference to those three libraries see how to port an existing uh, artistry extension software package to the Arduino platform. Well, now we know IT thread library is useful. Then the next topic is how to evolve the library in our sketch. Now let's use the blank a blink sketch as an example. Below is the original code and above is the IT thread version. It shows how easy to convert an existing sketch to IT thread application. Is the first we include the library and then start the library in setup function. In the loop function, we replace the original delay function to the artist right delay. The difference is the original delay function will block the CPU and the artist right delay function will use the CPU to other thread. The change is critical to real-time application. The next code is also link, but in standard artist application way. We firstly define the thread entry function. Yeah, the function will toggle the LED in a infinity loop, and then, then initialize and start the thread in the RT setup function. And uh, finally, same as previously, we start the library in the setup function and we may leave the loop function empty. Let's see how the code works. Yeah, after boot up, the first involved function is Arduino main, which will then execute the user defined setup function. We know this function will call RT thread begin. The, the RT thread begin function will firstly do some initialization and uh, call the RT setup function. We saw it in the last class. And finally, it will call the scheduler start function. The scheduler start function will never return. So is it so at this moment our the system is taken over by the RT thread. Yeah, you may wonder when the user defined loop function being executed. It is actually executed by the thread named uh, Arduino. The thread, after start, the thread firstly will call the component init function. The component here including hardware driver and uh, essential software package. Why we need another init function? 
here. The reason is some of the components require to be internalized in thread context. So the Arduino thread will execute those initialized function in higher in high priority. After that, it will switch to the middle priority and uh, execute the uh, user-defined loop function in uh, infinity loop. In the second example, so actually for the in for the first example, the toggling LED routine actually is uh, done by the Arduino thread. And uh, in the second example, we create a new thread to, to toggle the LED. Okay. In the Blink example, the application assess the uh, hardware through Arduino API, digital write. The library actually has also provides another set of API named uh, driver uh, device framework. Device framework is one of the essential software packages providing common operation to assess hardware. Let's take a look what a what an RT thread device looks like. This code snap shows the definition of uh, RT device structure. We only need to pay attention to this portion. Depends on the type, any device driver implements some of those functions could be registered as a RT thread device. Let's using the zero port as an example shows how to wrap the Arduino zero library to an RT thread device. It is quite simple. Uh, only three application, uh, only three operations are necessary. We define the operation there and um, pass it to the framework through the register function. After register the device to the framework on the application side, we could assess the throughput like this. Yeah, we only need to know the name of the device. And we open the device, write something, and then close. Well, although there are more topics to discuss, I will lead to other speakers. Hope I clearly explain how I describe could help uh, Arduino and uh, how to evolve a describe library in your next project. Arduino is a layman's toy. It's not a bad thing at all. More importantly, it can also be used in serious development. Someone said, luck is what happened when preparation meet opportunity. So, Put Arduino and Artistra in your toolbox and getting ready to catch your next opportunity. Thank you. It's the end of my presentation. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. This is a very interesting presentation. So I uh, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. So um, thank you for attending the, uh, the, the, the conference and giving a great talk. So um, you may find that there's comments, there may be qu comments and questions about your talk potentially in the, uh, the chat. So I definitely, you know, maybe recommend taking a look there. You may find that there's a good way to interact with the, uh, the users there. So yeah, sure. all right. Yeah, sure.